move your knee, man, so I can get closer and I can get in the camera. It's thick, it's thick, thick. What'd you say? It's thick, thick. Dang. I thought she said something. Look at the curls, guys. Y'all. <laughs> if only people knew how you were sitting for real. <laughs> Who are you? Some questions I gotta ask. She got some questions she got to ask. She's been, y'all, she's been wanting to do this hypothetical video for a very long time, as you can tell. What's the bites are mm -hmm. nails? You cut them, you need to cut them. I need to cut them. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna make up our own hypothetical questions with none written down before. We're just hypothetically speaking. She's gonna come up with them extremely fast because I already know she puts herself in scenarios that she's not supposed I to be. I ask you questions all the time. You, mm -hmm. Yeah, she asked me some random, I'm in the gym. We are working out. She is on the other side of the mother effing gym, okay? <laughs> and this hoe texts me talking about hypothetically, if I wasn't in the, in the picture, in the equation, would you want to be taken care of financially or with love? <laughs> like choose one. <laughs> like hypothetically, like if you, I know I'm done with love. F all that. Like I'm tired. I'm getting too old to be, no. I got the first hypothetical. No, that was a that was a <laughs> test run. Every single question that we ask, answer what you would do down below. Are you saying hypothetical in Spanish? If you know how to say hypothetical in Spanish, comment below because I don't. If I die, oh Jesus! So why are you so dramatic? Actually, not me. No, no. If uh -huh. I die, uh -huh. would you be open to finding love again? No, I just answered that. <laughs> Drinking. I thought about it. I thought about it. I'm like, oh, I can't think of nothing. Hypothetically speaking, if you weren't with me, <laughs> if you weren't with me, would you have started a relationship with the girl I don't like back in on Wilmington? <gasps> yeah. No. Don't lie. You know that freaking answer. No, I don't. Don't lie. Yes, you do. No, I don't. No. Absolutely not. I would have. If I did, I would have pursued it. No, I wouldn't have pursued no, you. I'm better. I wouldn't. No, there I'm wasn't. It wasn't on that level. Better. It was for. It wasn't. No, it wasn't for that. Like no, that took you took that the wrong way. Oh. Take no. <laughs> what if I like, or hypothetically speaking, if I just randomly said one day I made friends here in California, mm -hmm. and she's a feminine woman, but she's wasn't like a threat mm -hmm. or anything, but like we're becoming friends. <laughs> Oh, she crazy. I'm scared that <laughs> no. we're becoming friends. It's not okay. even like that. Okay, it's like I have plenty of masculine friends. <laughs> ah! There's no one that is a threat. There's no one that is a threat. Yes. There was. Yeah. We got rid of her. Not we killed her. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, so we're So you have this new feminine yes, friend. New feminine friend. She pretty? Yeah, she's pretty okay. She's, she's a pretty, pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. Um she's attractive, not just pretty. There's a difference. Okay. <laughs> and I just like randomly open up like, hey, I, I think like I would want to have a threesome with her. No. Dang, that was quick. Absolutely not. You used to have threesomes. <laughs> uh, why from my dinner? Talking to people about my stuff. You know why I did. You know why I did. It's hot. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so why is it automatic no? I feel too emotionally attached to you. That means there's an emotional connection there. Absolutely not. You're right. Okay. It ain't real, baby. <laughs> who, is, who is this? Nah, tell me. Let me see your phone. We don't go through each other's phone. I'm lying. We oh. both did once. <laughs> One time. We both did once. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, one of my exes would called me up and was like, because you know, my house is the place where people just go, you know what I'm saying? Like if I if they need something and they're going through something, it's just like, I can call Zasha, I know she'll, you know, whatever. If one of my exes is like, I don't know, going through something and needs a place to live. You know the answer to that. I would say come in. Yeah, I know you would. Come in. Hypothetically speaking, we're already all in this, right? Like, we're in we're it. We're right here. We're in it. And I was like, we have to have three more kids. <laughs> <laughs> three more. 
three. Three more. I would and carry. That's I would carry. Two. Oh, you would carry? No, okay, I'd carry one and then adopt two. I wouldn't have to be pregnant. No. We need to be financially stable to have three more. I agree. As long as we can take care of them and have a nanny. <laughs> I want a big enough house. I want to be a Kim Kardashian. <laughs> you trying to embarrass me in front of my people? Already? Where is our dog? Six kids with a dog. No, that would be the best life ever. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, if I had slept with a hundred men, if I said, we're already in this, and I told you, babe, you know what? I slept with over a hundred people. We're already in it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Babe, I, I slept with over a hundred people. I couldn't even like, like well over a hundred people. Are you trying to tell me that? No! <laughs> I think it would make me feel like, it would make me feel some type of way, but I wouldn't care. You know me, like I, I'm not judgmental. I'd but a like, hundred people? Yeah, I'd be like, yes, I've heard that before. I'd be like, baby, would you pause? <laughs> what if I wanted to get mouth full of gold? Those are my teeth. <laughs> my teeth. Like you can't pop them out? No. <laughs> Her baby goals don't suit you. <laughs> no. No, goals don't suit you, baby. Hypothetically speaking, if I wanted to get triple D implants and a BBL, I went and got it done. Like you went to freaking without, tell me without telling your me. Body. That'd be hard. Yeah. I wouldn't leave you, but what if I came home one day and was like Baby, I wouldn't be in an open relationship. Go be in one. <laughs> oh, you bring up me? Yeah, no, I'm not about to be in an open relationship with you. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, what if I said I wanted to have sex with a man again? Go ahead. Really? If you need to get that out of your system, go ahead. You wouldn't bring up with me? No. Would you have sex with me again? I'd wait a long time. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, if I needed to take a month break from you <laughs> no strings attached month but knowing that i will come back to you after a month if you need a break from me then we shouldn't be there no motherfucker i'm like this if you get tired of me taking that <laughs> what if i wanted to be a stripper so you, i think you'd make a lot of money you wouldn't you wouldn't be mad if i was dancing literally like had my face have you seen you dance you don't see how they be dancing? Mm, I do not know how they be dancing. You wouldn't care? No, I wouldn't care. If somebody had, if I was... No. <laughs> I would be upset if I saw you... I wouldn't strip. A mas no, if I saw a masculine stripper on me? Yeah. Lexi was literally on, like, she laid me down on stage. Yeah, but she's, and was she's like, Lexi. Like, on me. <laughs> I know. I love Lexi. I have that energy. Masculine, like, like but I'm a threat. But you don't either. No, yeah, you're right. It's just, you're having fun. Yeah. What if before we got into this, I was a hoe? Like, for real, a hoe. You'd be playing. But like a player, like a, a head see, game. Yeah, see, I don't like game. Mm -hmm. Like, if I felt like you were that person to run game on people, I'd be like, I'm good. I like you because you're corny. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you look at the friends that I have, yeah. like the masculine women friends that I have, they got game. That's why I wouldn't touch that with a 20-foot pole. What's that? Like, look at that? Absolutely not. <laughs> Any one of them come up to me with some. No, I really think you. Why are you so good, good at it? <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, what if I had an attitude too? We wouldn't work. Two. Ah! Two. You like it. I, I do like it. <laughs> but you call me out on it, and that's why mm -hmm. it works. It mm -hmm. just works. I, don't, I don't get disrespectful. Mm -mm. I just get... I get a little, I get a little. Hypothetically speaking, the doctor said we can never use her vagina again. Like mine? Mine. I'm sorry, like the how? <laughs> That's it. Like they have to close me up, seal me off. I can never use my vagina again. I think there's a hole and then there's a, you can still. Nothing, nothing works. If I, if I climax one more time, I might die. Baby. I know, isn't it sad? That would break my heart it for would. you. I know. I wouldn't leave you. <laughs> <laughs> Not the booty hole. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, I got into an accident. All of my limbs got cut off. My sister had a baby. I took it over because she passed away. And then the baby's lost its legs and its arms. So now it's nothing but a stump. <laughs> but I still care for it with my life. You never seen that? It's a shark tail. Lost its legs and its arms, and now it's nothing but a stick. Of course, I'll still take whatever you need. It was, I 
I'll still whirl you around. <laughs> okay. Hypothetically speaking, what if someone gave you the choice to either give me a penis? <laughs> this bitch. Or give you a penis. I'd take the penis. Ah! Oh, I'm definitely. Oh, that's right. One day, I'd give you the penis. Yes. <laughs> it's just like I would give it to you because, like, I know I can handle it. Why well, she looks so sad? Because I don't really want a penis. I don't think I understand. <laughs> I don't want one. Just to see. <laughs> just go.